Hi, Ryan from Seagull.com. Here to demonstrate the setup on our Fast Track kayak. Ready. Action. The Fast Track has four recess valves one on each side chamber, one on the drop stitch floor, and one on the keel. Yeah. To inflate, remove the caps. and push the stem down with a quarter turn to the left until it pops up. This will allow your chamber to retain air. Locate your pump and the threaded end of the hose will go into the out port of the pump. The other end of the hose will take the recessed adapter. This is normally stored in your repair kit. Place the ribbed end into the end of the hose. The recess adapter fits into the valve. Push and turn to the right until fully seated. We want to pump each chamber up to about 75% full. This will allow them to be soft enough for adjustments. The working pressure of your fast track is 3.2 pounds per square inch. For this reason, we only recommend Seagull pumps and never an air compressor. Seagull also has a selection of electric pumps that makes inflation a lot easier. Before inflating the floor, you can check to make sure the floor is tucked under the side tubes. Once the floor is full, you can finish inflating the side chambers. With your foot pump, it's impossible to overinflate. When it's hard to press any more air in, you'll know you're at the optimal pressure. If you have our optional two-stage electro turbo pump, simply place the adapter into the valve you have it set pressure on 3.2, turn it on. It'll shut off automatically when it's reached its set pressure. Next, we'll inflate the keel normally only takes a few pumps. We can replace the valve caps. Now you can assemble your paddles. You'll notice there's three holes on the shaft. The middle hole will allow your blades to be parallel. If you're going out in windy conditions, you can feather to the left or to the right. If you have the tall back seats, place in and clip the side clips to the front D-rings and the rear clips to a rear D-ring. And you can make adjustments when necessary. For the rear seat, clip to the front D-rings and the black D-rings to the rear. And make adjustments where needed. The deluxe kayak seat's easy to assemble. It will come with two valve bodies with retaining rings. For initial setup, attach a retaining ring to the base. Next, screw the valve body into the base, checking for dents and debris. For inflation, remove the cap 
and find your pump. Attach the threaded end of the hose into the out port and the wide mouth adapter into the other end of the hose. Attach the adapter into the valve and we'll pump it up. If you need to adjust the internal air chambers, you can access them by this zipper. Place your inflated seats into the kayak and attach to the D-rings. I'll be paddling solo today, so I won't need this. I'll move my seat to the middle D-rings. I'll be on flat water, so I'll make sure my self-failing drains are closed. And next, I'll put on my skeg. Simply slide it into the track and secure with the retaining clip. The skeg in conjunction with the bow keel provide the excellent tracking that give the fast track its name. Yep. Now on my paddle, my life vest, I'm ready to go have some fun on the water. The fast track tracks really well. It's also very stable. To remove the skeg, take out the clip and slide out. Fast Track took care of me, now I'll take care of it. I'm going to dry it off. You can store it inflated or deflated. Today we'll deflate it, so I'll remove the seat. Deflation is a breeze. Remove the valve caps. The valve stem will stick in the down position. This will allow air to escape. Roll out from the stern, pushing out any remaining air as you go. Remove the seat to deflate, remove the valve body. And press out the air. We're all packed up. Ready to go, we'll start planning our next trip. 
Thanks. I'm Ryan from SeaEagle.com. We'll see you out on the water.